flow like a river. Blessing off a flow like a river. Child, I am overly satisfied right now. Overly satisfied. Have you ever, like, got mad because you tasted something and you enjoyed it so much? Like, you knew it was going to be good, but, like, you mad mad. Like, not big, little mad, but big mad because it turned out wonderful. Alright, so, today, I am actually going to give some shout-outs that are very much well-deserved. I have never done anything like this before. This is going to be my first time. Hopefully it's the first of many, so please bear with me through this. But there are so many talented people out here in these streets, <laughs> in our very own backyard, people that we know that have so many talents of so many different sorts and we don't give enough credit or kudos to them as we should so today this shout out is to y'all i hope you like it i hope i do yourself i hope you i hope i do some type of justice to you i know i am just a nobody but let's get some circulation going and put some good news out in the streets all right so here we go so first up, I went and picked up, I made an order for a pound cake from Mrs. Tony Ellis. And I had to record this on video because there's no way that even on a simple still picture would it have made any type of justification. So this cake, when I tell you the softness, like it's moist, it's so moist and full of the flavor that it needs and more. Um, my, like, yes, my family bakes cakes, I bake cakes, but it is so hard to come across a really good cake that's moist and actually done from the inside out. Tony, you put your foot in this cake. Thank you so much for sharing your gift with that. Um, also, Tony is a realtor. I have her card here she is selling these cakes the cake with the drizzle on it which you kind of don't want to cheat yourself out of not having that drizzle have some of that drizzle indulge in that drizzle the drizzled cake is $30 and then the cake without the drizzle is 25 I believe you will not go wrong I am going to have some with some ice cream don't judge me I did not eat all of that by myself that's missing right there i went stop by and shared a nice <laughs> chunk of the cake with my mother and the rest of it we are going to enjoy throughout the week hopefully but yeah nothing like it at all this is what the cake looked like when it was whole I <laughs> I did cheat when I cut some for my mother and I put my finger in it, COVID and all. Like, my hands were clean, but whatever. I licked my fingers. I sure did. And it was the best finger licking time I've had in a long time. <laughs> please, please go get you a cake. Like, in real life, you'll thank me later. Next up, I went to my god sister cousin's house and she told me about this vegan fish and chips that she did. Now, I've never personally heard of vegan fish. I haven't. And I've thought I've had a lot of vegan different of different vegan foods. I grew up with vegan and vegetarian foods on top of the regular foods, whatever. That's for another day. But vegan fish, okay, now you got my attention. I'm not a big fan of fish. I do like white fish, like Alaskan pollock and like codfish. But when it comes down to other types of seafood, I'm not a big fan of it. However, Miss Crystal Wallace Scoob Snacks, first of all, she made her own fish. Look at that batter. I know... Looking at it, it does zero justification, and I apologize because my greedy tail took a big bite out of it before I took a picture of it all. But I do have some pictures that I can share you, share with you, with the fish hole. The tartar sauce as well is vegan, and she made that by scratch. This I took a picture of the fish 
after I had took a bite into it so that you can see what it looks like with the batter and then as well as with the um believe is called a banana blossom is what she used to make the vegan fish I I can't describe the taste to you please go and support her this is what all of the pieces were looked like after she was done frying them the crispiness when you bite into it is remarkable you have no idea how good this fish was <laughs> like for it to be vegan especially like it makes zero sense whatsoever this is what a plate looks like so you are getting a good amounts worth for your money trust me you get full i was over there eating and it was insane then she has the vegan pulled pork sandwiches these little who <laughs> In itself, first of all, she uses um, jackfruit for the meat. Like, look at this, the consistency and texture of it. It looks like pulled pork, but it's jackfruit. The taste, along with the coleslaw that she creates, it's, I don't know, it creates a mouthful of heaven. I'm not a big fan of pork, but I do like pulled pork, but I have never in my life had a pulled pork sandwich taste like this. Now she has other flavors, other kinds of sandwiches, varieties that she makes, and they are definitely as good as well. She makes regular chicken sandwiches, which I'm telling you, the crispy ones in themselves, the sliders, amazing. You will not be disappointed whatsoever. Please, please, please go support her with all of her endeavors that she has. This is another angle of the pulled pork and then the chips that she made homemade. Again, please go support Scoob Snacks. I'm about to show you her Facebook page. All right, so this is Scoob Snacks page. You can look her up on Facebook. S K O O O O please forgive me S K O O B Z snacks in S N A C K S she has photos of her products that she's selling so here's the vegan fish the fish and then the pulled pork sandwiches her logo, which you have to give her credit for her logo, is super cute. That is Crystal all the way. Our Scoob. She has a menu here. So the sandwich choices or the slider choices are the jerk, which is also good. It's the chicken with pineapple salsa. Delicious. Mahi Mahi with mango salsa. The OG, that one is the original chicken slider amazing trust me it tastes better than the Popeye slider or Popeye's chicken sandwich I'm not lying then you have the blossom that's the vegan fish and chips the jack vegetarian pulled pork her sides you can choose two sides when it comes to selecting um like the jerk sliders the mahi mahi and I believe the OG sliders oh and the maybe with the vegan pulled pork as well i don't know contact her you have the choice of mac and cheese rice and peas or a side salad the desserts which i have had as well the peach cobbler or the apple wontons sometimes every once in a blue moon she will also offer her pecan pie which is also amazing you cannot lose all right so support scoob support crystal support Tony Ellis, support these people with these endeavors that they have going on. You will not be disappointed. Your tummy will be full. You will be so satisfied. All right. Thank you. Talk to you later. Thank you so much for checking out my video. As always, check me out on YouTube. Search for me by the name Yvonne Gant, or you can look for Life of Vani G. Hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and click on the bell on the right so that you can always stay notified and up to date with any new video content that I post. Thank you so much for your support and I look forward to seeing you later. Ciao, ciao.